Make a volcano eruption. Invent waterproof sand. Inflate balloons using vinegar. And create a masterpiece on milk. Learn unusual and safe experiments for kids in our new video. Little explorers are intruding our magical science lab. Ew! All these chemicals! There are so many interesting things in here. But adults don't trust kids. We need to distract them with a fun experiment. Pour water into a jar. Add blue food coloring. And a few drops of dishwashing detergent. Put in glitter. And close the lid. Shake the jar. And it makes a glittery swirl. A tornado in a jar? Wow! Unfortunately, the tornado doesn't last long. Christy has a stress-relieving lamp. It's wonderful. Sorry, guys. My workday is over. And what about the lava lamp? Don't be sad, Alex. We can make our own lava lamp. Pour sunflower oil into a vase. Then add colored water to it. And here comes the main ingredient, a fizzy pill. There you go. Our lava lamp is all done. Colored bubbles are running all around the vase and looking at them calms you down. You can keep this. Our young scientists are in their lab at home. What should we invent? Ooh, soap. This would be great for an experiment. Put a bar of soap on a plate into a microwave. Warm it up. Whoa, we got an awesome soap cloud. It grew right in front of our eyes and it's so firm. Who knew that soap could do this? Look, this is my pet volcano. It's dormant. That's boring. Wrap a small glass with foil. Shape a volcano crater. Knead polymer clay and cover the foil with it. Shape lava drippings. Bake it according to the package instructions. Take the foil out of the ready piece. Color the volcano with acrylic paint. Hot glue stones to the base of the volcano. Hey, young volcanoologist! What happened? No one likes your volcano? Let's upgrade it! We will need baking soda and vinegar. Put baking soda into the volcano crater. Add a few drops of red food coloring. Stir it and carefully pour in vinegar. Wow, what an eruption! It worked! Our volcano woke up! Vegetable oil is a great thing to experiment with. What is this? Colored ice? Put colored ice into oil. The ice melts, but it doesn't dilute. The colors just swim in the oil. Water and oil don't mix, so they just look like wet confetti. Let's make soap bubbles in the lab. Pour water into a bowl and add dishwashing detergent. Mix it well. Cut the bottom off a small plastic bottle. Cover 
it with tool and fasten it using a rubber band. Put the bottle into the soap solution and blow at it to make thick foam. But that's not all yet! How about making colored soap bubbles? Add food coloring to the solution. Our soap foam turns out blue! Lunch break! And here's a glass of milk! Perfect! Our young scientists can use it! Hey, you! Kitchen thief! Give me back my milk! Hold on! I'll show you my experiment first! Pour milk onto a plate. Then add drops of food coloring. Create patterns using a skewer. It's a nice art experiment! But that's not all yet! Our young scientist wants to improve the effect! Use a Q-tip to add dishwashing detergent to the milk. Wow! This is very beautiful! And the effect is so hypnotic! Abstract milk art! Scientific research is pretty tough! Don't get upset! My new invention will inspire you! This is just colored sand! It's not that simple! This sand is waterproof! Cover colored sand with water repellent spray. Stir it well. Let it dry. Put sand into water. Very interesting! And now try to take it out! Bite me, Newton! This sand isn't wet at all! It's still dry! This is unbelievable! Our young scientist is looking for new victims of his experiment while Christy is cooking an omelette. Create a pyramid! Place a paper plate onto a glass of water. Add a cardboard tube and an egg on top. Quickly snatch out the plate. The egg falls into the water without cracking. That's amazing! This is more than just a scientific experiment. It's a circus performance. What a great show! Alex wants to throw a party at the lab. The task of the lab assistant is to blow balloons. Wow! What a great task! I would need to have superpowers to inflate all these balloons! I could only handle one! Well, it's a fiasco! But we can blow balloons using a different method. Take glass soda bottles. Stick a funnel into a balloon. Put in baking soda. Pour some vinegar into the bottles. Carefully pull the balloon onto the neck of the bottle so that the soda gets into the vinegar. The chemical reaction produces gas which quickly inflates the balloon without any effort. You just have to tie them off. And we are ready to party! Our young scientist is the winner of all scientific competitions! So he gets a prize! It's a Trum Trum experiment set! Pour water into a plastic test tube. Screw on a cap with a drop sign. Label it. Fill more test tubes with oil and honey. Put the test tubes into the box. Add grapes in a Ziploc bag, a plastic bottle cap, a paper clip, and a ping pong ball. What an amazing present! So what should I do with all these test tubes? These are substances with different densities. Pour them into one glass in layers. Honey first. 
then water, and then the oil. The substances don't mix. They create separate layers. Let's continue the experiment. Put things from the set into the mixtures. A paper clip falls straight down. A grape stays in the water and a cap gets stuck in oil. A ball swims on the surface. How interesting. Each item has its own separate floor. What a cool experiment. Thanks for the gift. Did you like our safe experiments? Comment down below which scientific experiment you try out with your friends. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new experiments from Troom Troom.